let's take a look at today's delivery. This is from Hornby and uh, it's part of its uh, Bassett Loke steampunk collection. Now when I went down to Margate for the 2020 uh, new range uh, announcements by uh, by the Hornby team and presented by Simon Kohler and Montana Huron, um, they started off with this first. I don't know whether that was something that they wanted to get off their chest because they might seem that, that uh, as traditional sort of model railway market uh, enthusiasts and that's the market that we tend to cover in the magazine we might not approve but I thought it was a good move by the, uh, Hornby, the Hornby team at the time uh, and uh, it's sort of tapping into a new market um, which is what it's all about model railways. We, we always tend to focus on the sort of traditional hardcore railway modeler but there are people out there who have a passing interest in anything that's sort of steam related maybe not necessarily hardcore model railway enthusiasts um, but uh, the steampunk fans certainly are in that category and uh, if you've not heard of this um, this growing trend then uh, I recommend you have a quick look on uh, online and just uh, see some of the events that are taking place uh, not so much at the moment owing to Covid but uh, around heritage sites and steampunk special events um, it is certainly growing and it's the whole sort of lifestyle that these people you know, they, they attend all the events, they, they dress up in the costumes and uh, this range was uh, sort of instigated by uh, Laurie Calvert he's created a number of uh, sci-fi layouts and, um, well, Hornby approached him uh, with a view to create its own, um, its own range of products. So uh, here we are, we've got the first of three examples from the range. There are a number of locomotives, a number of wagons and coaches. And uh, we're going to take a look at each of these really. I think it's worthwhile getting them out of the box and having a good look. First off, packaging, very nice, uh, beautifully presented. The Bassett Loke name is something that we haven't seen there. Uh, for a while, so um, this is this is going to be used now for part of the steampunk models range, and the packaging there with all the rivets and cogs and gears and things that you expect to see on a steampunk model, um, I think is a nice presentation. Uh, obviously, they've uh, included the fact that it's a, a double O gauge model railway compatible item, uh, just for the people who aren't sure. Um, but this isn't aimed at the traditional model railway enthusiast, so. Let's get inside the box to find a little card. Now this this is sort of telling a little bit um, the story of you know how this fictitious world exists and what and what you can expect to see. So uh, here we are, designed with speed in mind over pulling power. Well, there you go. Let's get it out of the box and see how this uh, has been designed with speed in mind. There we go. So this is the traditional 040 Hornby chassis. Uh, to which we've got a, a resin cast body on top, uh, painted in this sort of satin black colour with silver, uh, shiny silver highlights. So we've got standard tension lock couplings fitted at either end, um, and you can see because it's cast in resin, uh, it's got plenty of weight to it. Um, some of the items are quite chunky, as you'd expect from a resin cast item, but it's solid. You know, this is the sort of thing that uh, if you're a sort of a war gamer and you're into that type of thing, it, it will withstand handling, no problem at all. There's no detail that's going to fall off this. Uh, it's not fragile at all. And a little bit of back head detail in there too, uh, just thrown in. And of course you can, if you want, um, take a look at the range of paints, which are going to be released as part of the, uh, the Humbrol Steampunk Acrylic range. And you could enhance this further with cogs and various other accessories that are going to be retailed as part of the range, including some figures. However, bizarrely, no dinosaurs or lizards, which is what um, are supposedly the uh, the arch nemesis of uh, of all of these uh, locomotives and trains that are winging their way around your layout. So who knows? That could be an, another accessory that uh, might be added to the range in due course. So that's the locomotive. You get the picture. Um, standard reliable unit as we've seen appear in many train sets over the years. And of course, spare parts for the mechanism won't be a problem. Now moving on to the coach. Let's have a look inside the packaging here. So each one of these has a little card inside through the window. There we go, get this out. And it explains a little bit about what you get inside. So this is sort of the introduction to the whole steampunk range. This is the new world, a world of mad science, eco-warriors beneath the waves and empiric wars. Now to create your perilous steampunk landscape, um, Laurie Calvert created a demonstration layout 
uh, which was revealed at the 2020 uh, new range announcement. And uh, basically it's, it's based around a lot of the buildings which it has currently in its range, but with enhanced theme punk themes around them. So we've got uh, gears and various other pipework that's been added to, uh, to the outside of the buildings just to give them that steampunk edge. Uh, in terms of what else you would want to use to create that landscape, well, it's entirely up to your uh, your imagination. And I expect that uh, you know if if this goes well, there could be further uh, buildings and and things added to the range at the moment. But you've got things like factories, uh, footbridges, etc. This is a Thermopile Impulsion Tea Coach, and if you know what that is, then please let me know. I am intrigued. Um, in essence, what you get again is a resin body on top of the, uh, we've seen it appear many times before, uh, the uh, little four-wheeled chassis. As you can expect, again, it is resin, so it's cast, so you've got uh, quite thick window frames there, but it's chunky, it's solid. I was actually wondering this just before recording this video, that you know, you've got all of these characters and these lizards. This, this would be ideal as a sort of role-playing game where you've got some dice and a set of cards and things, and uh, you know, you've got various challenges and, and uh, you're, you play against, against your opponents, so they might have the dinosaurs, you've got the trains. Uh, a great way, I think, to create a layout, but also enhance it a bit further with uh, tapping into that sort of uh, tabletop gaming market. We've also got a steampunk wagon. Let's take a look inside the box of this one. So, the Hatter Milliner Wagon. Let's take a look at this. TT and more tea in bulk and on the move. Bassett Loke had the ingenious idea to put his tea factories on the rails. Hey, why not? So, um, yeah, various uh, accessories and contraptions that are fixed to the side of these uh, items of rolling stock allegedly allow you to uh, make your tea on the go. I suppose you've got a big kettle, so uh, that's half the problem solved. Yeah, nice little uh, four-wheeled wagon there. Again, tension lock couplings are standard. And you've got these various accessories which have been added to the outside of the uh, the moulding there to create that steampunk feel. Highlighted um, with some silver paint. Well, there you go. That's a little uh, overview of these three items to have arrived in the office from the uh, Bassett Loke range of steampunk models from Hornby. Um, let us know what you think about the models, and if you'd like to read the full review, check out the December issue of BRM.